Olya Koshlenko, One Plus One TV channel. Uh, when the full-scale invasion uh, started, U.S. officials uh, said that Ukraine uh, cannot uh, receive um, petrols because, as you said, it might be um, unnecessary escalation. And now it is happening. Right now, today, it is happening. Um, and now Ukraine desperately needs more cap capabilities, including long-range missiles uh, attackers. Maybe I sound naive, but can we make a long story short and give Ukraine all capabilities it needs and uh, liberate all territories rather sooner than later? Thank you. His answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Let me be straightforward with you here. Uh, дозвольте мені бути відвертим з вами. Факт полягає в that before Russia invaded, we had dedicated an enormous amount of security assistance to Ukraine. And uh, and we've given Ukraine what they needed when they needed to defend themselves. And since the invasion, that has resulted in more than $20 billion in terms of security assistance. Just today, I approved another $1.8 billion in additional assistance to Ukraine uh, for it to succeed on the battlefield. And we're focused on working with allies and partners to generate capability in four key areas. Air defense, as, known, as we know today, the Patriot is the best of that. Secondly, is to, uh, and we're looking to do more, uh, we provided hundreds of advanced artillery systems and dozens of, to, from dozens of countries. Thirdly, we've worked with partners to get Ukraine tanks and other armored vehicles. And fourthly, we've announced today another 200,000 rounds of additional ammunition. Now you say, why don't we just give Ukraine everything there is to give? Well, for two reasons. One, there is an entire alliance that is critical to stay with Ukraine. And the idea that we would give Ukraine material that is of fundamentally different than is already going there would have a prospect of breaking up NATO and breaking up the European Union and the rest of the world. We're going to give Ukraine what it needs to be able to defend itself, to be able to succeed and succeed in the battlefield. And uh, the other piece of this is, you may recall, one of the reasons why I have spent, well, I won't tell you the calculation, but I've spent several hundred hours face to face with our European allies and the heads of state of those countries and making the case as to why it was overwhelming in their interest that they continue to support Ukraine. They understand it fully, but they're not looking to go to war with Russia. They're not looking for a third world war. And I think they can all be avoided by making sure that Ukraine is able to succeed in the battlefield. So, anyway, there's more to say, but I probably already said too much. Thank you.